hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is christiana and i am tiana food and lifestyle if it's your first time of stopping by please do well to subscribe like share comment and hit the bell notification button so you get to know when we drop new videos in today's video i'll be showing you how i made mosa plantain puff puff it's very nice it's a snack that can be served at any time of the day with any choice of drink if you're a returning subscriber i want to say thank you please do well to stay to the end and give us a like thumbs up share comment as we do this together i promise it's going to be a great time so stay with us let's get this done together Okay, so for a start, I'm going to be um, preparing my yeast. So I'm using self-rising yeast, instant self-rising yeast. So I'll just put it um, two tablespoons of yeast in a clean bowl and add two tablespoons of sugar in the yeast because um, yeast needs sugar and warm water in order to enable it to rise. So I'm also using warm water. Just put... Um, the warm water in the bowl of yeast and sugar and then I'll mix it together and after doing this I'll just set it aside for it to rise I'll set it aside for 30 minutes but depending on the quantity you're using but because I'm using this measurement I'll set it aside for 30 to 45 minutes but precisely for this video 30 minutes and allow it to rise So while that is set aside, here are some ingredients I'll be using to overripe plantain. If your plantain is not overripe, you can use ripe plantain. And I'll be using onion, so I cut that onion into sizes already. And two measuring cups of flour. And I'll be using vanilla essence flavor, which is optional. One habanero pepper, salt and nutmeg. You can as well use cinnamon um, spice but I'll be using nutmeg for this video and a clean bowl. Thirty minutes later our yeast is ready. You can see from the size it's risen and foamy. So I'll just leave that aside and get my blender because I'll be blending everything. So in my blender, I'll just put in my onion, put in all my ingredients, my pepper. So after that, I'll now add in other ingredients. Now I'll put in my vanilla essence flavor. This flavor is optional if you need to. I'm just putting it because of the taste, the flavor to have a little bit of vanilla. Then I just added my nutmeg, spice and salt. and I'll cover and blend until smooth. Now, before I run my blender, I'm gonna be adding some liquid and I choose to use milk because you need to blend with water. But instead of using just water, I decided to add 
powdered milk, one teaspoon of powdered milk and water to blend with, and also I'll be using one egg to also blend with this. Now I'll blend it and run it until the mixture is smooth. <laughs> Now I'll bring everything into a mix to a mix. I'll make sure I rub in everything together so there will not be any lumps while I'm frying. In order to get that, you have to make sure that you mix it together. Now I'm using my spatula, but you can also choose to use your hand if that's comfortable and convenient for you remember and make sure to wash your hands before doing this yeah so i'm using my spatula to mix it because i'm not making a large quantity this is just a small quantity so at this point i'm adding the remaining yeast mixture you see i had to add it gradually so if while mixing is too hard you can add water if it's too watery you can add flour so whatever consistency you get make sure it's in between not too hard not too watery so at this point i like this consistency it looks good what i'm gonna be doing now is to make sure everything is well mixed so i won't be getting any lumps after that i'll just clean the edges of my bowl so um, i'm just doing this to make sure my surrounding stays clean so i can work in a neat environment right so i'll just clean the edges and the surrounding and i'll cover it and allow it to sit for one hour like i said depending on your quantity if it's smaller you can as well allow it sit for lesser time but the whole essence is to make sure that this um, mixture doubles in size so I'll, I'll cover it now and allow it to sit for an hour and then we'll come back and begin to fry now let's check our dough wow it's double in size this is what we want to get we want to make sure it comes out double in size that tells you it has risen well and it's ready for fry you can choose to use the ice cream scoop or measuring spoon but for this video i'll be making use of my clean hands yes make sure to wash your hands if you're using your hands for this now i'll be making use of my hand because it's um, easier for me and faster so right now before i begin frying i have to beat it to take out the excess air 
from the dough and also to enable me to fry properly yeah to make sure that when i'm frying it comes out well molded and well cooked now my oil already on stove on medium heat i'm checking to see if it's ready for frying and i insert toothpick in it and then when the toothpick bubbles in the oil it means is ready for frying so you don't want your oil too hot and you don't want it not hot so you fry this on medium heat and now I'll begin to cut my balls into the desired shape i want now i'm making it not too big not too small just medium sizes and you want to make sure you don't overcrowd the oil the pot with so much balls so your balls can have space enough space to fry properly right now i'll be using my skewer to flip it gently to the other side you can choose to use your frying spoon but i'll be making use of my skewer you know just use what works for you and you have to be careful doing this so you don't have any kitchen accidents okay so i'll just be using my skewer to gently flip and already this looks good now you want it to come out golden brown you don't want it to come out um burnt or not well fried that's why remember to always fry on medium heat and make sure you always regulate your heat if it's getting too hot so right now my um mosa looks good it's golden brown and it's well fried so i'll be taking this first set out and fry the rest okay so right now we're done with the first set let's go ahead and fry the second set and we'll do it the same way we did the first set but right now you have to be careful because your oil has been sitting on the stove so your oil has become hotter so you have to regulate and turn it a little bit low but don't turn it um, completely low so your oil does not get um, beyond the temperature needed for frying because if that happens your mosa will soak some oil and you don't want to be eating um your mosa and then the oil will be dripping all over your hands you don't want that so you want it oil free but nicely fried okay so we're just gonna be doing this and um same process for this second step and for the last step we have come to the final set and look at that it looks so good our mosa is well fried golden brown and wow that's all i can say for now just take this out and i want to say thank you to everyone who stayed to the end of this video you can give this a try it can serve as a snack for any time of the day you know take it with any choice of drink i just want to say thank you so much if you stayed with me why not give this a try and let us know how yours turned out and you can also take this with any choice of dip or um take it like that with your drink your water sparkling water juice whatever you just take it with and kids also like this like because my daughter did and i just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed everyone who stopped by remember to like share comment and hit the bell notification so you know when we drop new videos thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye for now